We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Yankees. Interleague Baseball comes your way next. Masahiro Tanaka, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy certainly could be one of those horses for courses kind of guy. Loves pitching at home. Take a look at those home road splits. They're pretty good. Without question, he's more comfortable pitching at home than he is on the road. Standing in, Kevin Newman. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. First pitch of the at-bat. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, if they're going to clean up their recent trend right now, they're going to have to find a way for it to start on the mound. They can't go out like last game and allow a bunch of runs and not play sound defense behind them. Both those things are going to have to change if this team's going to get it going in the right direction. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Torres picks it up. Throws in time, and that's out number one. That is cut. The left middle. Adam Brinkley. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Adam Frazier. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First pitch on its way. Well, Tanaka playing here in his age 31 season his contract is set to expire at the end of this season so he may end up hitting the market this winter I'll tell you what boys I'd like to be this guy's agent he's approaching free agency He's one of the best players in our game he's lived up to everyone's expectations and I expect him to get absolutely paid this offseason hit out towards second and he'll whip this one over to first and he gets his man for the second out Batting third, the center fielder, number 10, Brian Reynolds. Stepping into the box, Brian Reynolds. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And the pitch. Hey. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. No contact there, and it's one and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up, just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Pirates. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Jamison Tyon will be on the mound for the Buckos. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Matt, this guy is a big power arm. Former first-round draft pick by the Pittsburgh Pirates. And listen, he's what they look like. Big, strong guy. Three pitch mix, 95 to 97 miles an hour with good life on his fastball. Overhand curveball and a straight changeup. The key to him, throwing strikes. If he's throwing strikes early, Expect him to go deep in the game, and he can rack up a pile of strikeouts. Now here it comes. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they interplay here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. 
You know, Matty V, it's not easy to do, even though this is a mini two-game set, to win two games on the road, d -row, a lot easier said than done. Yeah, you walk in here, you take the one plane one. flight in saying if we could work a, a split, 1-1, one, one, we'd feel good about getting on the plane and getting out of here. But all bets are off once you win the first one. You want to complete the sweep. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Here's the 2 1 home. I got 3 1. 3 ball. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. Chopper to short. Barehanded at his knees. How about that? The right viewer, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. First shot for him here, and he brings in a batting average of up near the 330 mark on the season. Wow, this guy's off to a blazing start, catching a lot of people by surprise. It's still early. We'll have to see if he can keep this up through the rest of the year. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Judge is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. One ball, two strikes to count. One out, nobody on. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Home run number nine on the year as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. Giancarlo Stanton now as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 1-0. Popped him up. Bell in foul ground. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So striding in, Gary Sanchez. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Two out, nobody on. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. One and two now as that one's fouled off. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Hit hard up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Number 29. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that's in there. Base hit. 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Uh, you got to be good. frustrated if you're on the mound. You try and go elevated heater right there and blow some cheese by him, and he's able to scramble it and drive it the other way for a base hit. Nice job by the hitter to get the barrel to that base hit. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as he'll fall behind here as he goes after a fastball that might have been out of the zone. It's strike one. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. Come set, the 0-1. That's lifted the other way out to left. Frazier is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. And as we give you a look at his splits, he's had the better of right handers this season. No doubt about that. Bell. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Outside, that's the ball. The 1 0. Fouled away. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. Well, Yankee Stadium, of course, features a number of nods to the great history of the organization and its legendary players. But apparently, when you hit 52 home runs as a rookie, you rightfully get your own cheering section built in your name. What a magical year 2017 was for Aaron Judge. The slogan, all rise, fit him perfectly. What's really cool about it was the Yankees weren't even sure he was going to make the team coming out of spring training. He emerged into the scene, was the talk of baseball going into the All-Star break, finished that off with a powerhouse into the season, one of the best young players the game in baseball has seen in a long time. All rise, Aaron Judge. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here That's to start the second. The third baseman, Colin Moran. So digging in now, Colin Moran, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Inside, ball one. Bell aboard here at first with nobody out. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Moran, originally from New York State, he was a first round pick back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. Full count still. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he struck him out. 
My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. Here's Gregory Polanco, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. And he pops him up back behind second base. Torres ranges back and he has it for route number two. That is seven. The second base. Number 44. Striding in, Kevin Kramer. It was a three hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for Pittsburgh. It remains 1 0. Striding into the box, Torres. Set to lead off the home half of the second. First offering on its way. Squared that one up just a little late. In there, and he's in control 0 2 now. Torres. 23 years old. He's in his third season as a major league player. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. The one and two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Reynolds is on the move for it. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting eight, the first baseman, Mike Ford. Now at the plate, Mike Ford. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Well, should be 2 and 0, oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1 and 1. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here, but he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath, take a step out of the box, and know you got a few to play with. Count is 1 and 2 now. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. Bases are empty, one man out. Breaking ball misses the corner, two balls and two strikes. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Late on that one is it's fouled off to the left side. Another 2 2 offering. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Here's the two seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. Well, he battled to get it to a 3 2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. 
Here's Miguel Andujar now. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. As a look, now the pitch. Runner at first here, one man out. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Now the 2 0 -oh home. Ball for it. Well he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. A 3 0. -oh. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The center fielder, number 11, Fred Gardner. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. Set here it comes. Ball in time. The 1 0. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Reynolds has it for out number three. One left for the Yankees. We play two innings, it's one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Eric Gonzalez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First pitch of the at bat. The 1 0. -oh. Is looked at for ball number two. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2 0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah. Oh, one for count. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judges under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting the designated hitter, Kevin Newman. Ready for another chance? Kevin Newman, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. A 1 1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. And now a pitch on the way. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. They trail this one one to nothing. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. 
Within the league, they rank among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course, plenty of guys that can go deep and drive in runs. Their numbers certainly confirm that, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. The white field. Error. Here comes the first pitch. In there, 0 and 1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. The MO of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. Here's the one and two delivery. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Now back, left fielder, John Carlo. So striding forward now, Giancarlo Stanton. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First delivery to him on the way. One out, nobody on. And he bangs it into center field for a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. Swing and a line drive. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d -Row, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. One for one after a single his first time up. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Now the 0-2 pitch. off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two all right no more hope and he's going to chase it's two and two now you've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation from the belt kicks and deals wow this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count zero and two to work the count back to three and two and he's seen a lot of pitches too him looking with the fastball as that had some two seam movement to it two gone it's never a good look to strike out looking but it's way the worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play so now to the plate Tyler Wade left side but well foul 
Two on, two out for him here in the third. He sent the 0 1, and he fouls this one off. Runners on first and third, two away. And he'll just waste one there, one and two. Man, a pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non competitive pitch. The set and the one two. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Back to back strikeouts keep them out of danger. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Here's Adam Frazier comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Adam. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1 0. It's a fastball down below the knees. Now the 2 0 to short throw to first in time one gone here in the fourth the center field number 10 Brian Leno. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. One and oh, the count. Now the pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. This is pulled into right. And the Pirates are in the hit column. The first base number 55. John Bell. Josh Bell the next to hit as Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one he drew a base on balls his first time up a count of one and one to the Pirates first baseman. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. No runs just one hit and no errors so far for the Pirates. And he lays off again ball three. I can't tell you how big a pitch the last one was. The difference between three one and two 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 you're probably taking a turn for the dugout. And that one is a cold strike as he's rebounded to run it full now three and two. Hey now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play and he throws him a four seamer. And he lays off here a nice job. It's ball four first and second now with one away. Well they've struggled offensively in this one so far but after that walk they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise just need a big hit now. Stepping in Colin Moran as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield.
First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. Ready with the 0-1. Lays nope. off the slider, and it's 1-1. One and one. One and one. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Oh, Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And it misses three and one now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. A bullet to first base. Now batting right fielder Gregory Polanco. Now at the plate, Gregory Polanco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And a relay to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. Wow, what a great piece of hitting here as he took a big swing at that one. Almost got it out of here for a three-run blast, but he'll be happy with a two-run double as well. Yeah, he's not happy either way, but I'm sure the man on the mound is more than a bit relieved that that hit didn't turn into something worse. At the plate now, Kevin Kramer. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Line drive to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors in a runner left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Pittsburgh leads this one two to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready now, Torres. He flew Here out in his last at-bat. Not your stop. Waver. Torres. And now pitch on the way. A ball and no strikes. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and Here's the pitch. Fouled off. On a line, that's a base hit. Hey guys, that's a well executed slider down the way right there. The batter just did an amazing job of staying inside the baseball and driving it the other way.
to the plate now, Mike Ford. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Oh one, here's the pitch. There's one that misses high, it's one and one. This ball will be chopped foul. And he got him. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three on a nice dig at first, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. The shortstop, Eric Gonzalez. Now here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. And so after getting the ground ball with the fastball on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see a five mile an hour difference on their best fastball there. 97 on one hand and 92 on the other. Now to the plate, Jacob Stallings. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here's the pitch. Now a fastball on the inside corner and he takes a look at strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. His command has been outstanding so far hitting nearly all of the spots and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Fifth inning two to one our score. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and account 0 2 and then start working oh, outside the zone. Easier that's said that's than done, good. but that's the yeah, way to do it. Stepping in now, Kevin Newman. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 and 0 delivery. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. 2 and 1 now. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball and he three. misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. I got three and one. Three ball Adam Frazier would be next. There's ball four. Oh, 
Now batting, left fielder, Adam Frazier. Now batting, Adam Frazier, man at first after the two out walk. From the stretch. Two out with the man at first. Runner. And there he goes towards hey. second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Here's the pitch. Gardner. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Oh. Now the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. Here's big Aaron Judge. Nope. 4-1. A hit in two tries for him so far. And perhaps sensing a hit and run may be on a move to first. Nobody out runner on first. Fastball well outside. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Here it comes, the 3 0. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. The 3 and 1 pitch. He oh, loses him on ball four. Boy, oh boy. That's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering where the heck was that pitch. I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. A fly out and a single for him so far. First offering on its way. Swing and a line drive. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. Now really the unfortunate there. Barry. Obviously, the runner at second base Barry. was going to score easily, but it's possible they could have waved the runner around from first as well. We'll never know, though, as he's forced to hold the runner at third because of the ground rule double. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The 1 0 home runs a bit inside for a ball. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. Into the corner and slicing foul. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. Two and two. 
What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way now behind that. him when the swing Number came through the nine. zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. So stepping in, Tyler Wayne. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. In the score, the runner from third. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Robbie Erlin was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Working for the punch out and the offering. This one's down to third. To second for one. On to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. Five innings complete. The Yankees are out in front, three to two. Back now for the start of the sixth inning, and we send it down to Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked with Pittsburgh's manager during the inning break about the Pirates' offensive production to this point. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they've been frustrated hitting into ground out after ground out, but it's up to them to adjust. They know they're getting a lot of pitches down in the zone, so they either need to learn to lay off or find a way to get under those pitches a little bit more because clearly the balls on the ground aren't benefiting them in this one. All right, thanks, Heidi. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. That's Two balls and no strikes. Three and oh now. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. No doubt about this one. It's in there. Three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Two 
tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter's aboard to start the sixth. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Digging in the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. He's one for two in the ball game. He's set, and the pitch. 0-1 the count. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that ball from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. In now, Josh Bell. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Hey. The ball in two strikes. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. The one two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there and that's the second out of the inning. The batter. The third baseman. Colin Moran. Now in the box Colin Moran. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Line drive to center field. Gardner is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Pirates leave one. Still a 3-2 ball game. Late. Mike Ford. He'll lead he things off here in this one-run contest. The first baseman, Mike Ford. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Erlen, once a member of the San Diego Padres organization, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. I got to count two and two. Fouled away. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. And he'll step on first for the out three unassisted. 
Now that good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as the result. In now is the Yankees DH, Miguel Andujar. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That's a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. One and one the count now. Pitch on the way. Fastball runs in tight here and it's two and one. A bouncer up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. So a struggle that time for him in center field and as a result he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Into the box, Aaron Judge. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. One and oh, here it is. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Tough situation for him right here. I mean, he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to give in to this guy, but there's right definitely up. danger looming on deck, so you can't just completely work around him either. Three balls, no strikes. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. Here's the 3 1. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Wow, you know he's not happy with that call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. Coming to the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Two down, runners at first and second. Back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And they'll add another run to their lead as the run scores from second to make it 4-2 to two now. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for him. Nothing's more frustrating or upset you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around to score. It, it, you know what, and that's one of those cases as a pitcher, Dero, there's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors, and you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. He's two for three and looking for more here. Looking to minimize the damage here. Oh, that's off the plate. Oh. 
reined in. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. A run on two hits for the Yankees. We're through six full. The Yankees lead it four to two. Leading off the inning, Gregory Polanco. And they'll need him to get something going here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. First offering on its way. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Two and zero. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. Okay. You're hanging on to a slim lead, and the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you, so we'll see if that's the case here. Digging in, Kevin Kramer. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line to the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. The batter, number two, short guy, Eric Gondolo. Stepping up to the plate, Eric Gonzalez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Up next to the Pirates, the catcher, Jacob Stalin. Into the box now, Jacob Stallings. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hey, sometimes you have to look at it like it's not how or how many. Pitching very well into this one into the late innings, and his first pitch strike percentage, less than 50%. He'd like it to be a lot higher than that. He's making it very difficult on himself, but he's still getting outs. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One left for Pittsburgh. They trail it here four to two. Digging in to try it again. Gio Urshela is one for two in this one. The third baseman, number 29. First pitch of the at bat. Nope, that's down. Ball, oh, that's too high. Yeah. 
gets the call on the changeup there. Two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. The 2 1 home. High in the air out to center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter number 14. Second baseman, Tyler Wade. Standing in, Tyler Wade. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit out towards second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. No, we think. Jeez, this looked like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. As a look, now the pitch. One oh. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Oh, and he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. and Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. 2-0 count. Here it comes. Popped him up. Moran has room in foul territory. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now back, first baseman, Mike Ford. In now, Mike Ford. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now a move over to first and a dive, but he's back. From the stretch. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. The 1 0. Runner goes for second. That's a strike to throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag, anyways. A 1 1. I got 2 1 to count. And he gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Lifted in the air to center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Yanks leave one as they can't add to their four to two lead. Your attention, please. So a new pitcher set to take over now, and here he is, the fireballing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. So the Pirates' batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman, 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. First pitch of the at-bat. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. A oh, one pitch on its way. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Chapman, nicknamed the missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three-year deal. Chapman ready, the 1-1. 
Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Hey guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back foot slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. At the plate now, Adam Frazier. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And this is chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Getting late. 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Two and two to Adam Frazier. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught out of their game a little bit right now two tough pitches that he took with two strikes and now the count is two and two sharp ground ball toward the hole and that'll be another base hit as it's through into left so it's two straight knocks to start the eighth boy D roll when you're starting to swing it like this team is doesn't matter they bring in a new relief pitcher right and he gets greeted with back to back base hits yeah exactly that's what you want to do in today's day and age of bullpen down your throat you very rarely see back-to-back -back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Gardner is right there, one down. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, one and oh. From the belt, kicks and deals. A ball and a strike. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. The one-two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Runners are at first and second with one away. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now batting. Third baseman. Colin Moran. Now at the play, Colin Moran. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. First pitch on its way. 
so far this year against Southpaws Moran is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s his batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up now a fastball off the plate away a ball and a strike. And he misses two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Offers it that one a little late, and it's two and two now. Hey, it's looking like he may be able to get out of this one after giving up two singles early. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Pirates strand a couple. Still down by a count of four to two. Jason Martin mm -hmm. remains in the game, batting eighth and manning left field. Now playing left field. Number 51. Richard Rodriguez is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Number 48. Richard Rodriguez. So coming to the plate, Miguel Andujar. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A high fastball is in there. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Outside, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2 1 pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2 and 2 now. Pitch on the way. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first, and Duhar is retired, and there's one away. Number 11. Gardner. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Brett Gardner. He's one for four for the game. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Now it looks like a right hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. One out, nobody on. Nope. Two and one. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. This will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out now number back. two. The right field. Aaron. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. His prior history in this matchup is two for three. He's taken him deep once. First offering on its way. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Rodriguez, 30 years of age. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Whoa, that's up there. And 
And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. What we're seeing here is a guy getting pitched to very carefully. It doesn't matter that there's two outs and nobody on. He's a threat to score even when he's standing in the batter's box. Now the 2 1. It's a fastball that misses. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters' counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Now back, left fielder, Giancarlo. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball, Just good. off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. A runner on first with two away. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Stanton. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. A strike and it's two and one. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Set to deliver on two and one. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. The three-two pitch. Grounded to short. He's got it. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. But they still lead this one four to two. Tommy Kingley comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Coming to the plate now, Gregory Polanco. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. A not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. Lifted in the air out to center field. Gardner is there, one quick out to start inning number nine. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. He was great all night long. Matty V really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Standing in now Kevin Kramer as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. This is wide. One ball and one strike. Bases are empty. One man out. Hit out towards second. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box now, Eric Gonzalez. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Uh, 
on. He couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. A 1 1. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Wade trying to get there. He can't get there as it falls in. And that's the second out. Oh man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Stepping into the box, Jacob Stallings. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. From the stretch. Two out with the man at first. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Now the one and one pitch. One and two now. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. This was an awfully quick series and it ended in a split. I have a feeling these two teams could have played a 20 game series and would have ended tied. Two evenly matched, well coached ball clubs. Four to two with the final score tonight. The New York Yankees used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Masahiro Tanaka earns his fifth winner of the year as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Tommy Kingley earns the save out of the bullpen, his 14th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.